everybody. I am journaling my sobriety from gambling. I don't even know if that's what it's called, sobriety. Hmm. I should ask about that. Well, I'm Angie. I'm a compulsive gambler. Um, I want, I had my second group and it was a family group and it was a little bit hard because I don't have family really there and in general I really don't feel like I have a whole lot of family um I shouldn't say that I have my dad my dad cares um my dad sent me a message yesterday and said why don't you I come to him because he cares and I do believe he cares it's just his way of showing it do I have a flat tire well I guess we'll see um, his way of showing it is a little bit different than um, it doesn't feel like love it feels like shame and it feels like um, when I was growing up, my dad, I didn't really, I saw him like every other weekend and I remember my mom talking about money and fighting about money and having to go to my dad to get anything that I wanted extra. And so he was like my money source. And so I think what happened is I, sorry, there's so much going on. I related to love with him as money and probably whenever I've been in a big big jam money wise he's helped me out which is more than I can say for a lot of people but I think that's where this gambling makes it hard to talk to him about it um so, today, it was talking about families in, in group. It was family day, and they were talking about, with the spouses, about holding them accountable and taking, all the, taking over the money and not having, um, not having the person with the problem, the gambler, in control of money. And I was like, well what do people do that don't have that person? Um, and I don't think it's necessarily that I don't want to give up that control. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Have my son Logan, my 18 year old control my money for me? Like that would be a shit show. I'd be like, give me my money or you're kicked out. No, I probably wouldn't be like that, but that's a big, huge, um, a big hurdle that I'm facing in this, non-gambling life is I don't really have anyone to hold me accountable. Um, if I go to the casino at 2 in the morning and don't come home till 8 in the morning, nobody knows and nobody's going to say, where were you? How much did you spend? Nobody has access to my account to know what money I'm spending and that makes it tough. Um, there is this gentleman that was helpful and he offered to help me with this. Um, I don't really know him very well to know. I mean, I'm pretty damn sure he has more money than me by far. So it's not like he is going to run off and take my money. Oh, my car sounds funny. Do I have a flat tire? I don't even know if I would know. Oof. Maybe I should know before I get on the highway, huh? Fuck. Okay, well. Maybe that's my oil change. I was supposed to get my oil change a long time ago. Yeah. Um. Well, let's just talk. We'll see. I don't even know if I'd know if it's a flat tire. I think I'm being paranoid. <laughs> well, 
if this is my last video. I love you kids so much. I shouldn't even joke like that because that was how I was feeling. Good thing is, is today I feel completely different. I feel like I'm ready to fight this fight. And um, so I started yesterday, which was Tuesday. I went today, which is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday at group. And then I decided with one of the wives of a gambler was sitting next to me and she's talking about um, Galanon or Gaminon. I don't even know how to say it. A spouse or significant other gambling group on Fridays. And I'm like, oh. And they have GA, Gamblers Anonymous. I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's probably far away in Minneapolis, huh? No, it's in Burnsville. So, I signed up. Well, I didn't sign up, but I'm going to gamble anonymous on Friday. So I guess this is really what I need to do. I just need to fill my schedule up with getting better. And I'm praying to God that this works. That this is the willpower I need. And that, I mean, I think I'm tough. I think I've gone through enough shit that this should just be like easy breezy. Good. We're going to kick gambling's ass too now. Okay, let's do it. So, I said I would like kind of like have this follow my journey of gambling sobriety and here it is. Day two. Feeling good. Um, I'm sure that when I go home and Jackson's not there and Logan's playing video games that I may feel lonely. I may feel like I want to gamble. But I'm not going to. Today, I am not going to gamble. Thank you.